Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Jorge Alejandro Castellanos Paz. If that name is a little bit too long for you to remember, don't worry. You can call me by my online name. It's uh, Stupid Giant. Yes, you heard that right. Uh, I'm not as giant as Ton, but I'm pretty stupid, so everything works out. And I am an everyday 3D artist. And for the last 1,745 days, I created a new artwork every single day without missing a day. It all started with this. I was 19 years old, deeply depressed, without able to sleep. And I realized that if I never pursue my dream of being an artist, I was going to be miserable for the rest of my life. So I challenged myself to do one line every single day, and I only managed to reach 40 days of this continuous, continuous streak. And then I saw, you know, life got in the way. I had to stop. And then I saw a video by Beeple with Corridor Crew. By then, Beeple had been doing every day for 13 years. And on the right, you can see, on the left, you can see Beeple's work. On the left, what I was doing at the time. And uh, I got pretty upset, very frustrated, because how can this man has been doing this for 13 years and I couldn't even reach 100 days? So I did what everybody would do in this situation. I got angry and I'd sent him a very frustrated email to him. <laughs> to my surprise, I cussed him out and everything. Uh, to my surprise, he, he answered. And he challenged me to do 100 days of every days. At the time, I didn't even have an Instagram account. So it was pretty surreal. Shout out to Mike. He's pretty weird, but uh, pretty chill. <laughs> Um, and for the first 300 days, I only had my phone. I used to draw from my phone. I didn't have a laptop. And it was very abstract. And all I could do was, because uh, I don't know how to draw, uh, I still don't. All I didn't know how to do was just shapes and colors. And this is the type of art that I was creating at the time. And it's a lot of work. Don't worry about it. And this is my first 3D render. Um, I've been doing this for four years. My B is sort of like my, my pet, my logo, and you can see one B for every year. It's sort of funny how it worked like that. And the second version is the first 3D model I ever did without following any tutorial. It's pretty ugly if you look at it, but uh, I don't know, it has a special place in my heart. It took me 22 days of creating something new every single day to create some somewhat decent of a render. I just followed a tutorial on how to make procedural landscapes. You've probably seen it. <laughs> And um, 1,600 days later, I'm able to create something like this in the same spam of 24 hours. It's just about practice, practice, practice. Uh, my first 3D renders were all about just uh, grabbing an asset and uh, placing a light, taking a picture and feeling very artsy, you know? And this is what I'm able to do now, you know? Yeah. Uh, thank you. This is one of my favorite renders of the years, and it's crazy that both of this were done in the same lapse of 24 hours, uh, you know. And every day, I try to make new a new artwork better than the one that I did the day before. Emphasis on the word try, because at the end of the day, I am human, I am lazy as well, and not all days I feel inspired. Here are a couple of like really ugly renders. It's kind of embarrassing to show them to a room with so much talent, but you know, not every day is a win. And just as, as, as I have bad days, I also have really good ones. And it really depends, you know. Wow. Uh, one of the things I get asked the most is how do I keep it fresh? Uh, with the everydays, you do it every day. So you tend to get bored or do the same thing, uh, you know, the same motif or talk about the same topics. So I challenge myself to do a new theme every month to get outside of my comfort zone. Uh, for example, this year I did uh, 30 days and I did 30 portraits because I really wanted to get better at portraits. This is one of the first ones. It's kind of simple. It's a mid render. It's not great, but it's not bad either. But it helped me to like break down the things that I want to practice for the month. I really wanted to learn more about skin, more about gestures and um, uh, hair. And this is what I was able to do throughout the month. This year, I also was able to do something that I always wanted to do, and it's to do a new animation every single day for a full month. It was pain. It was hell. Because you all know about render times, and it's not fun to, to sit in front of your computer for hours to then realize that you messed up the last 100 frames, and you have to re-render everything. And you have a deadline, and you want to cry a lot. And uh, just to showcase, this is the first animated every day. I think you can sort of see the improvement. <laughs> 
burnout. As creatives, we, leave, we deal a lot with burnout, and I am not the exception. And what I try to do with burnout is actually look at it as a chance to do artworks that I wouldn't do otherwise, because I still need to do the everyday. Uh, this is a couple of artworks that I've done uh, while feeling burnt out. As you can see, it's very dark, very moody, very, oh, I'm sad. And uh, uh, I don't know, dude, I, I still have to get it done. So here's more artworks of uh, feeling burnt out. Again, very tired. Oh. <laughs> and yes, even more burnout. And the middle piece holds a very special place in my heart. It was the first time I ever did like a theme. So I did a full month of this character. It was really fun. I tried to tell a story with my everydays, and then I realized, wow, telling stories is hard. <laughs> you don't have a lack of ideas, you have a lack of deadlines. Uh, I think we should all be stopped being scared of, being, of deadlines, you know? Uh, deadlines are the thing that got me out of my depression at 19 years old, and is the reason that I am here today, you know? And it's been fun. Um, how to stay motivated? For me, uh, it's simple. I just try to set clear goals. My goal is to reach 10 years of every day, and that keeps me motivated. Why 10 years? I'm at, in my 20s. I don't know what else to do with my time. And uh, the idea that I, one day I might have kids and be able to show this visual journal of my 20s, of what it was like trying to find who I am. You know, I've done a lot of cool stuff within my every days, like the first day that I tried to stop smoking cigarettes, or my first travel to Europe, or uh, you know, falling deeply in love and then heartbreak. It's all part of my journey and to have a visual story to tell my kids, I don't know, it's, it mo motivates me a lot. Embrace imperfection. Not every day is a ma not every render is a masterpiece and that is completely okay. Uh, it's not like I wake up every day with the intention of today I'm gonna build my Magnus Opus, today I'm gonna make my Mona Lisa. It's more like I wake up, if it's good, good. If it's bad, I'll try again tomorrow. And if it's still bad, I'll try it again tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 till I eventually create something decent, at least. Work within constraints. Themes help me stay accountable and keep things fresh. And, you know, um, I used to think that my biggest strong suit as a 3D artist were nature scenes, so I challenged myself to do completely the opposite. I only did uh, cityscapes, and I was pretty bad. But then I was like somewhat decent, and now I'm able to combine cityscapes with uh, nature, and I did a full month of abandoned stuff. It was really fun. And uh, deadlines are your friends. No matter what, I upload before midnight. I haven't missed a single day in four years, and if I miss, I'll probably even gonna cry. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. And uh, a secret tip I wanna leave you all is um, have more talented friends. I would like to give a shout out to Mike, Laura, uh, Bright Raven, Curtis Holt. Uh, there's so many people I should, uh, Disfic, my, my bestie. Uh, so many artists that have helped me grow throughout the years and be the artist that I am today. And I especially wanted to shout out uh, Hugo and Orencloud. Uh, Hulib is another everyday 3D artist and a fun story about him is that he's from Canada, I am from Honduras. We both started the everydays on January, he started on the 12th, I started the 15th. We didn't know about each other's existence to like date 800. So he's like a brother who's slightly a little bit older than me and it's kind of annoying. But uh, he really understands the pain of being an everyday artist and I don't take his friendship lightly. The other one is uh, Oren Cloud. You know him as the guy who did the splash art screen or the guy who, did the, who won yes, last year's animation prize. I know him as the 600 ELO chess player, which I constantly beat, Get Checkmated. <laughs> And uh, he was very harsh with me at first. He would constantly call my art trash. He was like, you've been doing this for 600 days. It doesn't show, you're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was brutal, but it was the type of feedback that I needed at the time, because it got me out of my comfort zone and, and, and pushed me to, to improve. And now we're gonna do something really fun. Uh, this is us in Italy, shout out to my boys. Uh, Hugo doesn't show his face. And um, I want to invite you all to create an everyday with me. You're gonna be my art director. I have a pretty basic scene. Uh, so if you have any suggestions, any feedback, any crazy, wacky ideas, throw them my way and I'll try to incorporate in today's render. And also if you have questions while I'm working, you can ask away. Uh, it's good. I, I want it to be very dynamic. So uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> 
how many times, did you, uh, how many hours? It really depends on the day. When I was first starting, I was like 16 hours in front of my computer trying to learn Blender, bashing my head on my head in front of the keyboard till I and it doesn't really show. But now I can do something decent in like two hours. And uh, it really depends on how inspired I'm feeling or throughout the day, because I noticed that you cannot do every day is 24 seven, because then you have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> Uh, a lot. I, I copy, I, I steal, I photo scan, I Ian Huber uh, method. I try to do everything in my power to just get things done quick. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this month theme is I try to take a picture and I try to recreate the picture. Uh, but now I'm like kind of getting bored. So I just get inspired by a picture. So today we're gonna do Amsterdam. Uh, Amsterdam is pretty well known for their canals. I have this pretty simple scene. And the first input I would like to hear from you all is uh, which shot should we use? Like what type of lens? I'm trying to make it bigger, can you guys see? Yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, I sold out a collection and I've been able to live off it for a while, but uh, the cool part about the everydays is like a portfolio that it's constantly evolving and changing. So if something pops off in social media, then I get hired because of it. So I can just do what I want and maybe get jobs. Maybe I don't, it really depends on the day. Yeah. Yes, the closest call I had, it was one second in Italy. I was with Oren and he has like pretty shitty internet. And uh, we had a, like a clock so we could tell like, oh my God, am I gonna make it, am I gonna make it? And I, and I did make it. So I, I'm, I'm not sure which one you guys prefer. Do you prefer like this longer shot? Or the, this one, which is a little bit more close. You can see more the silhouette of the character. Uh, or this one. This one? Great, it's less work for me. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm just gonna add a subdivide plane. We're gonna scratch this, apply scale, move it. I'm gonna grab some trees. It's mostly, it's either something that I really like or something that I'm really bad at because uh, I want to like improve as, a, as an artist. So yeah, it really depends. I did a full month of skeletons and the reason was because I like skeletons. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, where's my plane? I do one every single day. This includes birthdays. Uh, weddings, uh, Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, I feel like a like a clown that you hire in a party that he does it all. <laughs> That's Does this count as a yes. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm doing uh, photography. Uh, I should have shown you my mood board. I really like Amsterdam. Uh, if we analyze it, it has like the canal, a bu bunch of bikes, the buildings. I love the buildings because they're really simple to model. We just take a picture and we Ian Hubert and yeah, we have a model. <laughs> That's right. Um, another thing I wanted to ask you: Do you guys want like it to be very sunny or uh, foggy. foggy? Ooh, ooh, we feeling foggy. Let's go. Uh, Okay. You would have, have several layers where ground levels the uh, densest and have the density fall off as if they get to the tall skyscraper height. Actually, my fog setup does that. So let me show you. Oi. Please, Blender, don't crash. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, easy, 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 easy. Uh, I want to add bikes, I want to add the street lamp, I want to add the uh, leaves. Uh, I think it's doable. 
with this amount of time that I have. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I have so many. <laughs> uh, one that I use a lot is Secret Paint. Uh, this is the one that I use for my vegetation. Uh, I'll be honest, I was the beta tester for it for a very long time, so it's like kind of catered to my needs. Um, <laughs> I love these questions. Keep it going. I'm just trying to add like the the trees, the tree line, because this is gonna help like sell the depth. What, what are you doing that, in the of all the uh, it's a uh, secret paint. So you just press Q and you move stuff around. And like say for example, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to do something. We're gonna add a cube. We're gonna delete the cube. We're gonna add it again, and we should be able to start now officially. <laughs> So with the secret paint, you just select the object, then where you want to spread it, and then you just paint. Uh, just press Q. Yep, and you can also like uh, play with the scale. Grow shrink, but you have to enable this. I wish this was enabled by default. Is any developer watching? Please make that happen. It's kind of annoying. And then you can just scale it around, and woo, cool. Uh, we kind of don't need that. I do want the street lamp, which is here. We're just going to press Q. We're going to right click. We're going to add a path. After the path is added, it looks like that because it's bad. Uh, scale, rotation. Where's my secret? Where's my secret? There we go. And then we're just going to do align to global. There we go. Press Q to edit. Select this. We're gonna dissolve these segments. We don't need that much. I'm just gonna spread it around. Ba, 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 ba. Maybe less dense. Uh, why? I want less trees. I don't know how to draw, so it's really hard to <laughs> <laughs> Like, I was not lying. All I, the art I could do was just shapes. I'm going to make an artwork with triangles. <laughs> but what I try to do is to do like a, a sketch in 3D, but just doing like a block out. That helps a lot. Ooh, I like this. This is nice. Look at me. Let's go. Uh, edit. Select this. Don't judge my topology, all right? Don't, don't worry about it. I have a pretty big one. I, uh, it's a big boy. It's my pride and joy. <laughs> yes. Um. I took like three classes of like painting, then I lost my sketchbook, and I had a pretty notorious moment of like, I don't want to be a painter anymore, this thing sucks. Uh, but I always wanted to be an artist. I never had like the balls or the courage to actually pursue it, so uh, it, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> no, I hate when Blender does this. All right. Pretty much. I um, I used to only use like asset libraries, but then I got into the gist of like, you know what, modeling isn't that bad. It's kind of fun. And I'm working on an asset pack at the moment of like street lights. Street lights in Honduras are like so unique and weird. It's like they're messy and I've never seen them in, like anywhere else. Uh, mission. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can like have shortcuts for notes on your material. Like, isn't that crazy? <laughs> for example, I want to change the hue. I just press Control Shift Hue, and boom, I have a hue node. But th these are custom shortcuts. You can like enable them. But it's so cool. Like, I love it. It's my favorite feature. Uh, one. 
There we go. It's kind of noticeable. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. Kind of, 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 kind I like Black Buddy, but it's like I gotta do math and I like doing art. <laughs> I also want to add a bunch of graffiti. I saw like a couple of cool ones throughout the city. Uh, for example, I really want to add this one. <laughs> this was just a sign I found on Amsterdam walking about. This one's pretty fun, but I don't know if Blender is going to allow me to do it. So, <laughs> and the flower. <laughs> I do that quite constantly, and it's like really fun. Uh, if I'm working really slow, I'm sorry. I'm kind of nervous. I usually work from the comfort of my home. I don't wear pants. I'm on my underwear, so it's like kind of weird to wear pants while doing my everyday. It's, it's crazy, dude. What the fuck? Uh, material. Yeah. Yo, that's too much. Chill, chill. Okay, I delete this. You know, it's not the first time that somebody asked me for the dragon, and last time it was a six-year-old kid. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I, you want me to model a dragon in like 20 minutes? Uh, sure. <laughs> we believe. <laughs> uh, or I could use AI. Uh, right now, I'm just adding facades to sell the illusion that there's a lot of, tree, the, of buildings. Uh, these are a bunch of photo scans that I've done. I've collected on Sketchfab. Shout out to Sketchfab. Um, I want to add bikes as well. Uh, maybe this smaller. I don't know, what else is very Amsterdam? Like, this is my first time in the city. Foliage, all right, all right. Ah, no, 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 I think I have them. I just need to make the light stronger. Yeah, like that, right? Perfect. You sure you, you guys want this? Uh, this is kind of nice, I don't know. I like that one as well. But yeah. Uh, I want to add the Blender logo somewhere. This is the only thing I ask. Anything else you guys decide. Maybe just there. <laughs> we call it a day. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, not sure. Uh, we want foliage for that. I have a tool. For vines, I have a Vaga Ivy. I don't know if you heard about it. <laughs> uh, open. You guys want to see something cool? This is my collection of every single blend file I've ever done. It's my pride and joy. This is just 2024. Uh, I have a NAS with like, per month I produce, I made counts like 80 gigs of just Blender files. This does not, not count the uh, textures. So in 10 years, I'm going to have like, 
a lot. <laughs> uh, I want dot blend. Dot blend leaves. Okay, it's not here. I lied. I have a, a bot on NAS and uh, it leaves V3. I, I should have used V4, uh, but it doesn't really matter. And um, I have all my blend files over there. Uh, let me just expand the domain of this. It's not really noticeable, uh, probably because of the texture. Press dot volume 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 leaf. I select this, go to here. Mm, yellow. How does this look? I just, uh, unless any studio potentially looking to hire me, I really care about topology and doing things the right way. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I just do. I'm not sure why this is not working. Uh, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, maybe first crash? Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> It didn't crash, good. Thank you, Blender. If it did crash, it would be useful for the devs to go by. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be the, ver the perfect place for it to crash. That way I can like get tech support right on the spot. OK, we have leaves. We have our object, or we have our main subject. I want to add bikes. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Uh, instance, which is gonna add a bunch. Please don't crash. Yeah, there we go. Cool, 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 cool. <coughs> oh, I think this one did it. No. Nope. Oh, Blender, you're behaving today. Look at you. Uh, with Secret Paint, you can select the objects. Control G. It adds it to a collection. After it's on the collection, you just press Q. And when you paint, the object should be spread around the scene, like, procedurally. If it doesn't crash, <laughs> that's the only thing. It just, yeah. I think, oh yeah, I think I crashed Blender. I think I just, let's see. Yeah, and I didn't save. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> But I don't know about you. Uh, I don't like whoever did the autosave in Blender deserves a medal. I have never lost work because autosave. Hopefully, I don't jinx it. Hopefully, but uh, yeah, it it always works pretty well. Oh, so fun! <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. I just thought Blender's been off. <laughs> Ooh. It's really crashed. Cool. <laughs> it's not working. I'm pressing control alt delete and nothing is happening. Hey. Hey. What's happening? Shout out to Bad Bunny, man. One of my favorite things about Lenders is you can just set up a shortcut for everything. So for the auto recover, it's control shift alt L. And I just do the thing. I think that uh, as 3D artists, we get stuck on the technicality of our craft. But if you set up Blender in a way that it's like, I want to do something, and instead of digging through 50 menus, you can just have a shortcut for it, it helps a lot. Because it's not like picking up a pen and paper and just drawing. There's something inherent about it. But with 3D artists, you feel like a wizard, dude. And most of the time, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, we got it. Cool. I think the bikes was what crashed it. 
We could use one bike. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to duplicate this, divide that, decimate, decimate it by 0.1. This is usually kind of resource intensive. Yeah, cool, all right. Apply. This really kills the topology. <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, but I duplicate it because then I can display it as, no, 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 I'm doing it wrong. I hide this. I The one that we see on the render, we display as bounds. We unhide the other one. This is where I use like a proxy. That way I can have like my systems on like the, the one with less topology. That way it's a little bit more responsive. And the high topology one is only visible on the render. So you go to that. Yeah, yeah, just disable it. Visibility. I wish there was a shortcut for this. There isn't. There's no way to set one up, and it's something that I do quite constantly. I do nature, secret. Okay, cool. What's like your most common Secret paint. Besides that one. Besides that one. Uh, physical atmosphere. Honestly, that thing leveled up my, my lighting. Hey. Uh, uh, what else? Okay, maybe no bikes. Maybe no bikes. <laughs> yeah, I think that the mesh is too heavy for it to be spread as like that. But it's kind of weird because I've gotten it to work. I like that idea. Just the PNG and just. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like that idea. Honestly, it's not. Yeah. Dude, stop crashing. Okay, crash number two. Maybe it's my fault, honestly. <laughs> not so much, Blender. But this is the process of being an everyday artist. You're constantly battling with the program. We're constantly battling with motivation. Right now, I am on a... I call it burnout season, in which I really don't want to do my everyday. And I just do them because I have to, at a certain point. But then there's times in which I'm like so motivated that I, I forget to eat. I forget to do basic human things because I'm just so focused working. OK, we have a bike. Cool. Maybe just one. <laughs> yes, after every burnt out, I after every really bad render, I get very annoyed at myself, and that's when I like study more and just to prove myself, like, dude, I am the goat. <laughs> yes, constantly. Uh, while we're working, I can show you a couple. It's a bunch of work, guys. It's it's annoying. I try to like I want to showcase this one render, and then I have to like scroll and scroll. For example, this one, I didn't really care. It was so lame. But this one, this one's cool. Kandinsky is one of like my biggest inspiration, and there's uh, an exhibition of Kandinsky right now in Amsterdam. If you have a chance, it's worth checking out. And yeah, uh, this one is one of my favorites. Okay, we have leaves, we have the bike. Oh, I kind of like this. It's kind of moody. It's a lot easier for me. <laughs> uh, I also wish there was a shortcut for all of this. There's none. I, I am stupid. I don't know how to code. <laughs> I asked so many times. I have so many ideas for so many atoms that I asked ChatGPT, and ChatGPT just gives me code that doesn't work. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Good. Kind of like push it back. This should not be here. Uh, the top of the ceilings feels a little bit boring. Uh, any ideas of what we could add? <laughs> Godzilla. Oh, I don't have the model. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of a Godzilla. Maybe we can just go to Sketchfab and find something. <laughs> no 
Dude. <laughs> what do you say? We had the Godzilla or no? Yeah. Okay. Maybe as a T-pose? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I like that idea. <laughs> Dude, sick. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Shout out to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like to import them on a new blend file that way because sometimes it reports very weirdly. Sketchfab has like a really cool add-on. I love it. You don't have to download the FBX. You can just copy the link and then you have it. You activate. I use it all the time. I've never had any issues with it. Boom. Boom. Godzilla. Just like that, dude. Modeling so easy. Uh, okay, smaller, smaller. Can we see the silhouette? Uh, okay. <laughs> I think it was rigged. Uh, let me see. Import. I think it's rig. If not, we can rigify it. It's not. Okay, I'm gonna try rigify. If I mess up, don't make fun of me. <laughs> or we can just grab. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? I kind of like the tipos and just on top. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, the small light. Uh, Arena no scatter. Arena no scatter, you just turn off visibility on volume scatter, and when you have fog, it really works because it just lights up the scene without making it like super dense. Uh, here, let's do 500. I want to see the face of Godzilla. Maybe 1,000, no, why not? Ah, because it's on mission. Uh, Sketchfab import. You can have like node tree saved up on your startup file. I use this quite regularly, it's how I quickly add, because most of Sketchfab stuff has this. So just save time, I just, and boom. Pretty basic. I really, don't try to do multiple renders because then it's like, which one is my favorite? <laughs> like, I don't know what, what to do. Um, <laughs> dude, that's crazy. <laughs> what the hell? I like the small <laughs> light, like rim light on. Yeah, maybe from behind. That's a good idea. Oh, from the low. So it's like a villain Godzilla terrorizing BlenderCon. Um. <laughs> this is so stupid. Maybe red. Dude, we got it. Render done. Uh, Maybe less bright, because this is taking a lot of... Uh, mm, <laughs> what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. I prefer this, select this, just extrude. Just peeking over. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Oh, wait. 
No, it's in it. Nope. There we go. Uh, Blender Con 24. What? Yes. I have a macro for the date and it auto, because, okay, this is really embarrassing. I thought that my 500 render was the day 500. It was 498, because it turns out I don't know how to count. So I built a macro that counts for me. <laughs> I was like, damn it. Kind of like collection instances a lot more. Uh, to do that, you just do, it's secret paint, but uh, control shift G, it adds it to a new collection and then control alt G just creates an instance of that collection. It's a quick way to just do collection instances. And the cool part is that if you move it, I don't know if you use collection instances, but it's kind of annoying that every time you move it, the this one also moves. But if you go here and you do, there's a button that does it. Um, Ah, this one, and it fixes it, so yeah. Okay, we have bikes. What else there is in Amsterdam other than weed? I like the idea of a punking. Punking, I like the idea. Great, dude, <laughs> crazy. You're so good. You should all do one every day instead of me. What am I having? Okay, 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 okay. I think I may have one. If I don't, I'm just gonna. My trusty friend. <laughs> Your words, not mine. <laughs> uh, borrow. I prefer that one. Yes. I'm not that mean. You know. uh... <laughs> we can take a selfie and we upload the selfie, all right? It's gonna be sick. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, where's my other file? Here it is. I don't need that. Pop. Import. Well, that imports. What else can we add? What else? What else? Uh, somebody said vines. You know what's going. Oh, uh, graffiti. Cool, 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 cool. See, this is great. I constantly forget our ideas, and now I have you guys. Let me just test out the idea first. Let's see. It's da, 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 da. If it's too big, it breaks the scale. Hmm. <laughs> but it since it's such a dark scene, that maybe just the silhouette, so it implies that there's actually vines. Uh, is this noticeable? It's noticeable for us, and that's what matters. I am constantly stuck in adding details that no one would ever see, but they bring me joy, so. Yeah, I like that. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, here. Pumpkin, done. Uh, join. I like adding just two cylinders, rotate. This is too big. Mm. A bunch of my characters are like photo scanned, so it's kind of cool because I can use myself as a reference of like how big objects are. The, you want to see something funny? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> that is why all my characters like no eyes, no face, please. Um, and I actually have that sweater on my Airbnb, I think. So if you guys want to cosplay as me, go ahead. Um, yeah, this works. Should the character be facing the camera? No. I want to do it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, select that. Uh, why are you doing that? Uh, I animated the leaves with using easy leaves. Shout out to that guy. I am, yeah. You all are too talented. There's so many cool geometry no tools that I could never do. So <laughs> shout out to y'all. Um, I kind of want to have it animated, but that means I'm not gonna finish on time. So who knows? 
I know, right? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Like, should we have this animated? I think it's going to be a lot more fun because we can animate like the light flickers, this thing flicker, the leaves moving, maybe the Godzilla just doing that. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Just like him, like walking, like from here to there. Oh, that's gonna be sick, though. I can't wanna do it. Beautiful and gone. <laughs> Top left. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, ooh, hell yeah. Of course, the scale is wrong, so we're just gonna peep, peep. Peep, you, peep, you, peep, you. We hide that. Uh, this trees can for sure be bigger because you cannot see them. Scale. <laughs> Ah, uh, they do. Let me check reference. Where's my PRF? Well, they don't, but I want them, so. They have a couple. Okay, I like that idea. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, the only thing that I've been successfully able to code is this. I feel pretty proud about it. You select something, you move the whatever that thing is called, Control Shift D, and it adds an empty, and it auto selects your active camera, and it adds it as a depth of field object. So it's like cool little shortcut. Um, I kind of want to add the, this one. I really want to add this one. Uh, control mesh plane that's on downloads. D -d 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 downloads. If you see something sus, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a node group sticker, so we take this, the alpha, I don't really have an alpha, so this to this to this. We have like two minutes to finish, so. I like that idea. Okay, last minute changes. <laughs> Bloom? <laughs> Someone really likes Bloom, goddamn. Uh, RGB. Hey, hey. It's my first time in Amsterdam, but even I know what that means, so. Oh, I like the idea of the Blender logo shining. Thank you, Mike. Uh, base E and one, maybe smaller, small little nod, and then there's the big nod. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm not gonna try to render it out right now because I know my computer is gonna crash. It gets very shy with a lot of people, you know. <laughs> but I just wanna like showcase my compositor tab because. Shout out to Lino3D. He did a talk yesterday and he showed me this. You denoise every single layer. This allows you to use less uh, samples. And this is how I'm able to do my animations without Lino, like stuff like, uh, what's a cool animation? This one is kind of cool. 
stuff like this would not be possible in a single day. So shout out to Lino. He has a tutorial on it. Um, go bother him. I don't know. <laughs> and all of this, and we add. Uh, this is how I add Bloom. We can also add it on Photoshop. Uh, and um, please don't crash. Okay. Do you do a lot of like post editing? Yes, so much. I might add a thing that makes it look like a painting. I add this because it had, hides my mistakes pretty well. It makes it look very artsy. It's like, wow. It's like, no, I'm just bad. Uh, I use uh, Photo Sketcher. It's a free software. It's really poorly written, honestly. It's really slow. I hope the, the developer constantly tells me, like, yeah, dude, I'm going to fix it. It's been two years. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is the artwork that we've been able to create. That has been me. I am Stupid Giant. I hope you all had fun. Hopefully, you are less afraid of, I don't know, being stupid and making dumb art. <laughs> Thank you.